Hello and welcome to Chris's Open Source TV show today. And today we're going to answer the age-old question, which Linux distro is the best? And I've got the answer right here. After all these years, we're going to find out the truth. Which Linux distro is the best? The answer is Debian. Have a great day. Dooby doo boo, theme music, do 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 do, open source, do do. I mean, free software. It's called free software. Do 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 do, the technically two different things. Do do do. No, seriously though. It's, it's such a flawed question. Which is the best? What is your definition of best? You know, it's like saying, which car is the best? Uh, are we talking about acceleration, top speed, uh, ability to tow something, uh, fuel economy, electric versus gas? It all depends on what you need, and it's the same with Linux distributions. Now, I can give suggestions, but which is the best for me is not going to be the best for you and your uses. And lots, some distros are, are geared towards something specific. Uh, like, I don't know if it still exists, there used to be one called Scientific Linux, which had a lot of applications pre-installed for doing scientific calculations calculations and math calculation stuff. I don't know. I never used it. Uh, another example is like Kali Linux. Kali Linux is used for pen testing. It's not meant to be your primary desktop. I mean, you can use it as your primary desktop uh, operating system, distribution, whatever. Um, but it's not geared towards that. So here are my picks on different situations that I personally prefer, but again, I'm not saying that other distributions are bad. Um, my first choice almost all the time is Debian. I run Debian on my servers, on my laptops, on my desktops. Debian is just, uh, it's very stable uh, and easy to install, and many, many of the other distributions you're going to use are probably going to be based on Debian. Uh, and you know what? It is okay when you first start using Linux. To be distro hopping, it is normal. Try this distro, try that distro. My first two years of using Linux, like 15 years ago, I every month I tried a different distro. And you know, I liked features of this one, I like features of this one, I like features of that one. And you know, when it came down to it, almost all of them were Debian based, and I realized, well, if I just start with Debian, I can add whatever the features I want from the other ones in most cases. Um, and that's just how I am. I like to start with a uh, somewhat minimal system uh, and, and build from there. If you don't want to start with a minimal system, you might, maybe you, especially if you're new to Linux, you want something that already has all the basic stuff pre-installed. Office software, music software, all the drivers you might need. Uh, in that case, uh, I personally, my suggestion today and a year or two from now may vary, but lately for that I would suggest MX Linux. Uh, and that's MX. I, I'm assuming you pronounce it MX Linux. Um, and I, that's actually my preferred uh, distribution for carrying on a keychain. I actually have a multi boot keychain, but it is just. It has so many options for running as a live system off a USB drive to where you can save settings and have all these different configurations. It's easy to load to RAM, and it's just a nice uh, setup if you just want something out of the box. Again, that's just my recommendation. It's not the only option out there. If you have old hardware and you're looking for a live distro, a lot of people would suggest TinyCore. I personally prefer Slitaz. That's how I say it. It's probably pronounced wrong, but Slitaz is an operating system that's very lightweight. It used to only be about 30 megabytes compressed on a CD or flash drive. Um, I think it's closer to 40 or 50 megabytes now, but it's super lightweight, can load to RAM if the machine's really, really old and you have like under 120 megabytes of RAM, you can do a frugal boot where, uh, I think it's what it's called, where it, instead of copying the whole thing to RAM, will actually run off your, your drive or CD uh, ROM. Uh, and from as far as I'm concerned, as far as live distributions that are lightweight, that is the best. But again, if I'm going to install something on an old machine and I don't mind taking the time to set it up how I want, I would still go with Debian. Um, but that's just, again, me. So no arguing, no fighting, comment below. What is your current favorite distro for different situations? Again, just like me, I like, actually on all my desktops and laptops, I run Debian SID, unstable. I've been doing that for close to 10 years now and have had very few problems. But on my servers, I run Debian stable. So. 
In case you're un uh, unaware of this, Debian usually comes in three um, varieties. You have SID, which is always called SID and it's unstable. Then you have testing, and then testing eventually becomes stable. And for servers, you usually want stable. You don't care if the software's a little old as long as it's locked down and, and stable. And for my desktop, if something breaks, I can, you know, uninstall it and reinstall it, you know, whatever. Um, but like I said, I've been using Sid. My kids use Sid. My wife uses Debian. I think I recently switched her over to Sid just because uh, she was running different versions of software than I was because she was running Stable, which is going to be a little bit older. So I think I uh, last time I messed with her computer, I upgraded her. Upgraded her. I switched her over to Sid. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. And this is not a war. Uh, I mean, you're using Linux, you're using Linux, you got the Linux kernel. Everything else you do uh, is up to you. So let me know below. Yeah. <laughs> Bye.